it's already warm out here for eight o'clock. But it's supposed to cool down this weekend and be really nice. So that's good. All right, I'm checking to see if we have little boys. I see all the big boys. We have little boys too. It's been hard to keep up with them now that they're all in with the pigs. Well, looks like we're gonna have to sweep up some <laughs> dead flies this morning. I I cleaned up in here. Oh, I have blueberry on my face, guys, for my muffin. I swept up in here yesterday and cleaned up, and I put out fly bait, some just fresh fly bait, and I don't know if you guys can see all these black dots are flies. So what I did was sprinkled the bait, the bait around my trash can, underneath the milk stand, obviously put some here on the counter, and then around the feed barrel, and also directly on top of the feed barrel, because there's this hole, and they fly down in there, and they're in the feed barrel, and so we now have a couple hundred dead flies, but minimal flies in the milk room, which is nice. Still a few flying around in here. Hello, pepperoni. What do you guys think? Yeah? Good morning. My little early birds. Uh, so I guess I'll sweep these up really quick before I lock everybody up for breakfast. Okay, so we got that wrapped up. Um, if you're wondering, I've showed this before, but this is Golden Mulrin. You can buy it at Tractor Supply. It, they just eat it and then obviously. So we still have a few flies in here, but not as many. So that was pretty effective. All right. There's some flies in here, we need to spray. But this is way more effective than the spray this year for us. I just am a little hesitant to sprinkle it on the ground in here with them. I don't want them eating it. But when they try it out and just kind of sprinkle it a little bit lightly in here. Having it, the milk room open and this much of it and it he the feed being in here, that should really help. So let's get them fed and going before they all kill each other. She's been doing really well. I don't like to keep their legs tied up if I don't have to. It takes extra time and a lot of them once they learn are totally fine. Pixie, who was our dancing goat last year on the stand, never really did figure it out. I knew Padme probably would because her mom is such a good milker, just temperament wise. Pixie is Twizzy's 
daughter and they just have different little bossier personalities. They're also a little bit more anxious. And so Pixie may be one that always has to have her legs tied up. Twiz doesn't, but it did take a bit for Twiz to really get comfortable on the stand, probably about two years. And also we stand trained Pixie at age like three versus I stand trained Twiz at like a year. So I think that also probably helped in general. So we're not milking Nani. Uh, obviously, I think that's been best for her. She's really enjoying just having breakfast with Pepper and Tink. I put her in with them because Pepper is her baby. And since she is probably my least dominant goat, she's probably on the bottom of the totem pole, except for Tink. She and Tink fight a lot, obviously. But they can eat breakfast together and it's not such a big deal versus she Link probably wouldn't bother her, but Pixie probably would. These two definitely wouldn't let her eat, so that works out well. And that's kind of what we'll do. I don't know what we'll do with Padme. We may put Padme in with these two if we decide to drop her off, but really, she gave almost two cups of milk this morning. I had to put her in a different little jar because there wasn't enough room left in this jar for her. I didn't want to back up my pump. Everything's great. Sorry, I had to have a bit of a wardrobe change. It is very hot already, and it's only like... 8 15 8 30 it already feels like almost 90 degrees outside that t-shirt was just way too hot so i just went in and put on some more breathable fabric and got some water because i already felt it was a little bit hot and i'm getting out here like earlier and earlier every morning just because it's getting hotter and hotter i'm sorry i have ulcers i don't know if you guys get mouth ulcers i have a couple on my tongue right now and so i'm talking a little strange because my mouth hurts so sorry if i'm a little bit harder to understand all right, so let's let these guys out for the day and get everybody fed, because it is definitely toasty. Our camera is obviously gonna struggle this morning because it is so warm. The air is moving a little bit better out here. There's no air movement in that barn other than the fan. I need to do a little bit of mowing today before it gets like unbearably hot and then I thought we would take a walk down to the creek. Some of you guys were asking for me to walk down there and what I thought I'd do is kind of show you how our property looks from the creek and then walk you down to the neighbor's inlet. I went yesterday and kind of just was hot after weed eating and got in the water a little bit and it was fun. Just got my feet in. So thought we could do that today if it doesn't get too hot too quickly. So my strategy with them is I have to hang up all the feed on the gate, on the fence here, before I feed them because it's such a cluster with them. This is what we have to do. routine has gone in the summer is they have really been good about coming out here first thing. I didn't fill up water last night so I've got to go do that so I can put some water out here for them. 
but the shade is amazing camera it doesn't get as hot it gets really hot out there in the sun but they're just chilling it's gonna be a hot one we're gonna make sure the pigs water is full this morning and uh, the only issue that I've had with the boys and the pigs being together is that pork chop dumps over that water that I had for the boys every day every time I fill it up he sticks his whole face in it and dumps it over so we can't use that water for now they're just sharing the pig water which is not a huge deal. And it's only one water for me to manage, which is better. Overall, it's just the pigs get it really dirty and I tend to like the goats to have cleaner water. So I'm just having to dump it a little bit more often. But so far, it has been really great having them in there. They've done really well. They've been eating really well. So what I'm gonna do is get cleaned up from breakfast. I'm gonna mow a little bit and then we'll go out to the creek. That's the plan for now. We'll see you guys in a minute. I was filling up the pig pool and I could like feel myself getting sunburned even though I have sunscreen on. Guys, I literally just filled up that water and she just turned it over. Like I just filled it up. This is why it's pointless. I was hoping because they were not in here this morning that she would leave it alone, but no. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the creek. I'm gonna take my towel, have a swim. These guys are having a swim. They're all muddy. Are you happy? Nice and wet, dumping water everywhere. I rinsed y'all off. I did. Okay. This creek, what's really nice about it is it's basically private access for us. So it's not like a public creek or anything. And so we don't have an inlet on our property, which you'll see, it just kind of drops down like six, seven feet out here. But our neighbor on both sides, both of our neighbors have little beaches that you can walk to that they're really sweet and let us use. We're talking about having family over Saturday and maybe going swimming. So we got to check with my neighbor to the west to see if that's okay, because they have a nice like little shady spot. I'm not going to wait, walk all the way down there today. This is a little bit further. I'll show you this inlet. Hopefully it'll rain this afternoon. I didn't bring a towel yesterday. Just walked out here because it's hot, but I only got my feet wet because of that. Because I didn't really have any way to like dry myself off. I don't own a swimsuit. Ladies in your mid thirties, where do you buy a swimsuit? I looked at Target the other day, but I am not 20. I'm 30 and I think I like a one piece swimsuit. That's a big old turtle. So this, oh, you got scared. Sorry turtle. This is the creek, so you can see this is kind of how it is. It's like a straight drop pretty much all the way around our little bend. There is a beach over there, but there's not really any way to get down to it. So our thought is to build a pier of some kind or since it floods, it's not really a great idea, but maybe a ladder so that we could hang out at this little beach. Right now there's not really any way to get to it. You can jump down there, but you couldn't get back up. And you'd have to like cross the creek and go up to the neighbors at some point to get back up. There was like a little step, like a natural step that we used this fall. The water rises on and off with the rain and it kind of got washed out a couple months ago. So we're gonna go through here. I was very careful when I was walking yesterday, watching for the poison ivy because there is a section up here where the gravel is not as beaten down. And I didn't see any but it's probably here. I brought my headphones yesterday and listened to a podcast while I was out here. That was nice. Not a murdery podcast because um, that'd be a little bit creepy. But I listened to this one called You're Wrong About, which is like explaining history, uh, some facts that maybe you get wrong in your head. But this is this little creek bank back here. So this is our neighbors. They're really nice. And I've said that we can come back here and go swimming or kayak or canoe or whatever you want to do. I've never walked on this side. There are cows down there. And so our neighbors have cows like two places down and they come up this way and end up in Jerry's yard and then our yard because it's really hard to run fence through a creek. As you can see it moves pretty quick down through here. And this rock, it's all creek rock. We haven't been fishing or anything. And to be honest, like yesterday, it was the first time I had even got in the creek since we lived here. Because we moved here in December. We've walked out here a couple of times. 
flat yesterday it was the first time that I ever stuck my feet in the creek and I did find a sandier place I could walk out that wasn't so hard on my feet. I do need to get some sandals. Here's another question for you, ladies, gentlemen. Some like sporty sandals. I don't know, that would be good for like doing this, like walking in the creek. But we're also on our trip to Maine, would be good for walking, just walking around in general. So like comfortable, but also sporty and good for water. So this is a little, only little sandy spot that's out here. Uh, and this is pretty much the whole creek bed is rock at least in our area. This is really the spot to get in the water. My footprints are here from yesterday. This is the creek. I think I'm gonna wade in and then probably gonna head back to the house because it's pretty steamy and I've got some other things I wanna do today. But I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out on my walk to the creek. Apparently it's about to start raining, so Jeremy sent me outside to put everybody up. It's not really cool enough for a sweatshirt, just FYI. I think everybody's asleep. I think we can go in quietly enough to not wake Tony. My guess is no. To be very quiet. Nope. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. You just, I guess, noticed me walking. The boys are already up and in their house. The girls are already up. They've been up for probably half hour watching the baseball game. Guys, I will tell you, I grew up an Ole Miss fan. I am more of a Razorback fan now than anything. I didn't go to Ole Miss, my dad did. But living in Fayetteville, not really in Fayetteville, but in Northwest Arkansas for the past seven years, living in the state of Arkansas since I was 18, it's way more fun to be a Razorback fan for like one reason. Not because we they win really anymore. <laughs> Because, come on, mom's in a hurry. They don't fight. There's not an in-state rivalry. So it makes, I was clean. Thank you, you just rubbed your muddy self all over me. Yes, you did. Okay. Good night, piggy peas. Good night, babies. It's gonna rain. Go get in your pig -a wiggle house. Go get in your pig -a wiggle house. Night, night, babies. It's because there's no in-state rivalry and the Ole Miss Mississippi State rivalry is awful. I don't find it enjoyable at all but I really hope the Mississippi State beats Fandy because they've never won a national championship and it'd be so fun for the state and I don't live there. If I did live there, I would not want them to win because it would just be miserable. Okay, I could dismantle this since it take me like 10 minutes, so please hold. Okay, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna make it before it really starts raining. They're all up in the barn. I enjoyed my swim at the creek. And when I say swim, guys, I'm not really swimming. I went and got my whole body wet in about mid shin deep water. Maybe it came up to my knees, maybe. The water is not deep and I stayed where uh, the current isn't moving. So I'm fully aware that I was here by myself and that probably was not safe to do much more. But it was really refreshing. And I do think that I will do that more this summer on those really hot mornings because it takes about five minutes to walk down there. It took me maybe 20 minutes to walk down there, um, especially if I'm not talking to you guys. Jump in for a minute, cool off, come back up. I don't own a swimsuit. I know I said that earlier in the video. So I feel like maybe I should invest in one. Probably could go swimming in those dresses and I may try that. It's gonna pour down rain tomorrow. Maybe this weekend, might try going swimming in one of those Halar dresses to see kind of how it goes. I enjoy living on the creek. It was Jeremy's big thing when we were moving was he really wanted to be on water and not on a pond, like on a creek, a river or something. We looked at property on the Illinois River. Would not have been this convenient, easy to get to. So another fun thing about this place. Say goodnight to the girly friends. Are you all in here? Nani, Pepper, that pair, that pair, that pair, that pair. Sorry, I just pair them up now. Everybody has a baby. Uh, one of you guys asked me to go back through the goat names, so we'll do that next week and I'll pair everybody else that you know. Every single goat in this barn has a baby. All the older goats have a baby. And all the younger goats, their mom or grandmother is still here. So we'll do that. It's a little bit sticky. I'm gonna check water and I'm gonna get inside. 